Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the profile and also the profile update. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully we enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor. And the very first thing will be to open up the dashboard views UI. And after that is done, the next thing will be to then create a new view called profile. And this one should pretty much get the profile of the user by saying profile.object.get where user is equal to the request user. Now we need to import profile from user outdoor models. All right, so after profile has been imported, that is pretty much what you want to do. Then I'll say context and let's pass in profile and also profile and let's return a template. So the templates should be called profile HTML. And instead of passing this in, let's pass in context. All right, we are done. Now let's create a new profile HTML file or template. So I'll say profile HTML and scroll to the main templates folder. Then grab the profile HTML and pretty much replace it with your own profile HTML. I'll end block content. And you also need to import some of the data. So I can import some of that from here onto here and open this up. All right, so when that is done, let's then create a URL for the user dashboard profile. And this one should be profile and profile profile. Then open up the sidebar and change this one up. So that one should be user dashboard profile. All right, so when all these are done, let's open up our page. And the, the only thing I want to do now is come over to the dashboard. So when you come over to slash dashboard, then you visit the dashboard page. And when you click on profile, we have this profile page all looking good, right? So with all this now out of the way, let's start filling out the information, starting with the, starting with the image. So this image here that says source should be profile.image.url. Let's see what we have. If the user does not have any profile image, nothing, nothing will show up. So let's see if the user has a profile image already. I believe that user should be Desfix. As you can see, the user does not even have a full name, not to talk of a profile picture. So let's look for a picture for this user. I will come over to my downloads and look for images and also open up my avatar. And I want to take one of this. And then I will also add a full name for myself. My call Jeremy add this and every other information that I will be needing. And let me say I'll add in some amounts to my wallet because still leave it at zero. All right. So with all this now, we can save. And when you get back to the dashboard and reload this page, you can now see the profile image showing up over there. So let's prefill the full name, the email, and, you know, every, almost every other thing that we will be needing. So instead of um, right now, we have all these inputs showing up like this. But instead of showing up these inputs like this, how about we use a Django form instead to perform this operation? Now, just like I said, this one is totally up to you how you want to do this. If you don't want to use a Django form, you can still purely do this from here by grabbing the information and saving it onto the database. Like I said, it's up to you how you want to do it. But if you want to use a Django form, that means we will have to get started creating the three. I don't know if we already have the user updates form and the user register form. Let's see. Hop over to the user odds forms PY. All right, we only have the user registration form. Now we need the user updates form. So create a new class and I'll call this one user updates form. And this one should pretty much inherit from forms dot model form. And I need class meta so that I can pass in the model that I want to interact with, which will be the user model. 
and also the fields that I need for this particular model. I think for this one, I need only the email field, right? And after that, I also need another, please, you should add a, a question, an equal to another question mark. And after that, I need one more form model, which would be profile update form. And this one's just to inherit from forms dot model form. Okay. And this one will be almost the same as that. We still need a class meta and model should be equal to the profile model and also the fields should be equal to. Then this is where you added whatever field you want to interact with or you want to use that to change. So I want to use that to change the image, full name, phone, gender, country, city, state, address, and even the identity image. Um, okay, for now, let's leave the identity image. I need Facebook, Twitter. Um, I think those are pretty much everything that I need. Let me grab the identity image. There is no need to leave that out. So I need all those fields right now. I'll put them over here. And using my shortcut tricks, select everything, then hit Shift and Alt. Holding Shift and Alt on your keyboard, press I to put the cursor at the front of everything. If you want to put a cursor at the back of everything, come over to the line that you want to start from, hold down Control and Alternate, and hit the down arrow key on your keyboard to select the cursor for everything without having to manually click. Then hold down Shift and Control, Shift and Control, then click on your right arrow key to select everything. And then I will now hold down Shift and add in a quotation mark, then add a comma to everything. All right, you see, as simple as that, we now have all this room. So that was pretty much everything that we want to do. I would like to create um, a widget here. So let me say widgets should be equal to and for the image field, I want a file input. And for the file input, we still need to import that from Django.forms. From Django.forms, import file input. All right. So now that we have the file input over here, I will say file input and we need some attributes. Custom attributes should be on change and actual value that should come in here should be load file. So I'm creating this because I want to select an image and as soon as I select the image, I want to display it over here without having to reload the page. So like a preview of the image. I hope that makes sense. And after, and after all that are done, we can add another attribute. Let me add a class attribute. So this is how you add classes to Django Forms. And I want to add upload. All right. So you can see how we add classes to Django Forms and pretty much information like that. But fields, he says he's creating a model form without either the fields is prohibited. Let me see what is going on. Please add this over here. Okay. I was adding this in the wrong place. Um, this is a colon, a colon, and it's here with a comma, then another attribute. I think widget should be equal to image, colon, file input. Attributes should be, okay, that's the problem. So if you'll be using colon, it should be in a dictionary. So add in the dictionary and pass that in. All right, so after that is done, I believe our code should be running well now. Okay, there you go, it's, work, it's running well. Now open up your views py and import those two forms that we created now. From userauts.forms, import user update form and also the profile update form. So for this one, let's get started here. We firstly need to check if request dot method is equal to post that is only when we want the user to be able to update their account information let's create a u form 
u underscore form, which pretty much stands for user form. And I want to assign it to the user updates form and grab whatever the user will type into this form. And also instance of this form should be the request dot user so that we can show the previous informations that the user already had on the form onto the input fields. And you want to do the same thing for the P form, which pretty much stands for the profile update form. But for this one, apart from grabbing only request posts, I also need the request files. And instance should be request.user.profile. So when we have all this now, we need to check if you underscore form and, okay, let me see, if you underscore form dot is underscore valid and p underscore form is valid, then what do we want to do? Let's pretty much save the new informations that the user has typed into the forms to our database. So I save you form and I also save p form. As simple as that. Now you can return a message if you want. I'll say messages dot success. And then let's say something like profile, profile updated successfully. And we should still redirect to the profile. So user underscore dashboard. And where do we want to redirect to? Profile. Okay, so when this is done, what if the request method is not a post? Then let's pretty much pass in these two, two things down here. Fix the indentations. So all you want to remove is the request posts and also do the same thing for this one. So remember that the instance equal to request user will pretty much prefill the input fields with the previous information that the user already has. So when you have added all this in, what I want you to do is then add in the u underscore form and also replace that with this and then the p underscore form. And we also need to replace that with this. I hope this makes sense. So with all this out of the way now, you could, you could then open up the dashboard profile and we start changing up all the informations that we will be needing. So open up the profile HTML and let's start off with the image. The very first thing that I will do here is define a new, let me define a new ID for this image. And I'll call this one profile underscore image underscore preview. Okay. And remember, we already have the source coming in and every other thing that I will be needing. So um, after we've done this, just below here, I want to add the p underscore form dot image, which is the input field for selecting a new image. Let me see. All right, you see that is now opening up. Now, when I select a new image, I want it to show up over here instead of that one. So how do we actually make that to work? Now for that to work, we need to write a very simple script to perform this operation. Down here, I will firstly define a new variable and I will call this one, let me say, I will call this one load file, should be equal to, and I'm creating a new function that should take an event parameter so that we can access the events of the element. And then I wanna create another one. I will say output, let me go with out. Okay, let's just say output should be equal to document okay you know what let me call this output two because i'll still have an output one this should be document dot get elements by id and what did we call that id it was profile image preview do you, do you remember so now what we pretty much want to say is output two dot source so we are grabbing the source attribute of that particular element which is the image tag and what we want to assign to it is url dot create object URL. And we want to create the object URL based on any file that was selected. And this is how you grab any file that was selected. It's by saying event dot target, event dot target dot 
files and you grab the first file that was selected in case you, there's multiple files coming in and lastly you say output to output to dot on load and i'll create this a function and this function should pretty much say url dot revoke objects url and what you want to pass in here then is output to dot source okay so this over here is to pretty much get a free memory that will help us display the image but cannot be accessed anywhere else and this one over here is to pretty much assign the new image to that source all right so when this is done that is pretty much what you want to do let me try this out now i'll reload my page and select an image and can you see it shows up over there all right all good so without out of the way now let's fill out the full name email and every other field that we will be needing so instead of the full name like this let's be p underscore form dot the name of the model called full name then you could clearly see that we have michael jeremy coming in there perfect for the email instead of saying p dot full name it should be u underscore form dot email then if you get that back here and reload this page you can see destiny coming in as expected so now let's do this for every other field that we will be needing for the mobile should be p dot form dot phone see there you go for the for the gender it should be p dot form dot gender and same thing for country country same thing for state same thing for city same thing for address okay so with all that out of the way now you can see every other thing coming in as we expect all right so that is pretty much it some other things that we need to put in should be facebook and twitter i believe so facebook and twitter it seems we don't have anything for those let me let me check it out okay you see facebook is blank so for facebook now i will go with destiny and for twitter i will also go with something very random you can still say twitter.com slash deskfix you can also follow me on twitter i post daily things that should help you become a better django developer or even a programmer in general so now let's save this and when you get back here and reload this page you can, have, you can see everything coming in here for your twitter and facebook let's change this to facebook and also change this one to twitter all right so when all these are done make sure that the button that will be submitting this has a type of submit and for the form add a method post and an egg type that says multi-part form data and add in a csrf token and apart from all this we need a way to catch errors so u underscore form dot errors should be added and also p underscore form dot errors so with all this now out of the way let's try updating our profile michael jeremy updated and save changes profile updated successfully and as you can see now the image is here if you reload the page we still have the same image so guys that is pretty much it for profile update it's working perfectly well as expected you could pretty much add a new fields to the profile model then add those fields to the form model and then add those fields to the html and you could pretty much update those fields that is pretty much it the profile is working as expected in the next one we'll get started working with the change password and after that we'll work with the ad review and we should be done and we should be done i hope to see you in the next video until then mad love peace out